welcome back to my channel this is your girl Belle today I just wanted to um share a little bit of my background with you all because I get so many emails and DMs of people telling me how lucky I am that I'm able to pay for nursing school out of pocket and how they just wish they could do these things and I just wanted to let you all know that it's not easy when you're trying to grow. So whatever barriers that you have to go through to get to where you have you want to go, you have to do those things. Whatever sacrifices you want to make or you have to make, because sometimes it's not something we want to do, it's something that we have to do. The sacrifices that you have to make to get the change that you need so that your life can grow is something that you absolutely have to do. Like, it's nothing to it but to do it. So it's like, that's the most cut, dry, straightforward way I can tell you. I'm the best person to tell you this because I have lived through it. Like, I'm not just saying this for no YouTube I'm not just saying this to make y'all feel like everything is roses and peaches around this bitch. Because it's not. Like, I'm still in my 20s. So, that means I'm still pretty young. And I can say that because I take care of people that's 105, 106. So, in the big picture, being 20-something is not old at all. So, don't ever feel like you are behind the curve. Because you're not. Life is a marathon. You really have to have that marathon mindset. I started out, I went straight to college out of high school. I graduated in 2007 in the spring. And in the fall, I was at the highest of Seven Hills. I went to the Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University in Tallahassee, Florida. I did not go to school to be a nurse. Like straight out of high school, I went to school to be a lawyer. My mom's a nurse. My sister was a CNA. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to be a rebel. Everybody else in my family were principals, deans, educators. I was like, damn, all of that. I'm going to go to school to be a lawyer. Two and a half years later, I realized I did not want to be a lawyer. I was working at McDonald's in Tallahassee in a one-bedroom apartment with chastity, thinking like, what the hell am I going to do? So I ended up getting a job at a nursing home. And one of the girls at the nursing home was like, girl, you need to go get your CNA license because you're doing the same work we're doing and you getting paid like a dollar less. So I was like, well, damn, how I do that? So she told me about this lady who used to drive from Tallahassee, I mean, drive from Jacksonville to Tallahassee and host a week-long class to train you on what you need to do to become a CNA. So I saved up $250, I took the class, but I didn't have enough money to take my boards, which was like another $163. So my boyfriend at the time, I was in a long distance relationship, he went to college down in Boca. So he was like, well, bet, I'll give you the money since you done took the class, like it's really pointless if you don't get your license so he gave me the money for my license shout outs to him even though he probably like married or something these days back to the story so i don't wasted all this time at famu going to school for political science that i didn't in, even end up using and when i went to my advisor and was like oh well, i'm a cna now i like nursing i think i want to go to school to become a registered nurse and they were like mm, the way your gpa looks sus I don't think that's a good idea for two reasons. One, your GPA sucks. Two, you took all these classes because you were supposed to be going to school to be a lawyer. Like going to school for a nurse, those are two different type of prereqs. And you have to take basically start all over like you're a freshman and probably won't be graduating school for another six years. So, and then even after you do your prereqs, because your GPA is so low, we're going to double back to number one. Because your GPA is so low, you probably won't even be accepted into the program. So I was like, damn, bro. That's a bummer. Fast forward later, I ended up dropping out of college because I did not want to go to school to be a lawyer. And I felt like... I will be wasting my time taking my prereqs again because they basically already told me that I wouldn't be accepted into the nursing program at their school. So I was like, all right, damn. Fast forward, I ended up in Fort Myers. And when I got to Fort Myers, I had broke it off with my fiance. Now I'm two babies in and I'm like, okay, God. 
something has to change like something has to give so i got a job at the hospital that we all know that i already talked about in previous videos i got a job at a hospital and i started going to this technical college when you go to the technical college you have to take a tape test I took the tape test and I ended up not scoring. You had to get like 11th grade level in math, reading, and whatever else. Science. I, I don't think science was part of the tape test, but whatever it was. But you had to pay $30 for remediation if you didn't pass. So I took my $30. I paid for the remediation. And on my off days, I would go to the library at the technical college and I would remediate. I remediated and then I ended up passing the tape test. But once you pass the tape test, you didn't have to take the PAX test, P-A-X. And that accompanied with your tape test and everything else on the list of the applications. But those were the two entry level tests that you had to take. So I remediated, I studied, I bought the PAX book. I took the test and I went to submit my application. And the first time I submitted my application to the LPN program, I was denied because they didn't receive my high school transcripts. I'm like, well, dang, how y'all didn't receive my high school transcripts? Turns out my school said they mailed it to me, but they had an incorrect address, so they mailed it back to the school. And they just never bothered to call me to let me know that they didn't receive my transcripts. So the guy was like, well, lucky, luckily for you, we didn't have enough applicants, so they pushed the um, application date back another week. So you have time to get those unofficial transcripts and get it in to us. So I was like, all right, bet. I had to drive two hours from Fort Myers to Lakeland, go to my school, get my transcripts, and drive two hours back to Fort Myers from Lakeland to turn my application in. And I ended up turning it in on the day that the deadline was. So I ended up getting accepted. I had to tell that story because you have to sometimes do things to get the necessary done. Like I had to stop what I was doing, cancel my plans, take that round trip, which was like four, six hours out my day to get into this program. It was not that easy. It did not come without complications. Boom. Point number one. So I ended up getting into LPN school. I had to work and go to LPN school. I think I've already touched on this in previous stories before. I will get up, have to be to school by eight. I will get chastity out the elementary school. I will get butter to daycare. I will be at school from eight to 2.30. I will leave from school and go to work and work three to 11. My dad, my cousins, whoever would pick my kids up and take them to my grandma's house until I would get off of work. And then I would get off of work at 11, 11.30. By the time we would get home, it would be midnight. I would have to get up and do the same thing again. So people ask me, how do you study? You find a way. Point blank, period. When we had lunch breaks at school, I would be making flashcards. Those flashcards, I would be studying while I'm at work. When I would be on my lunch break at work, I would be doing more flashcards to study because every single day we had a test. I would be reading on my lunch breaks. Like... And sometimes when I got off at 12, I didn't go to sleep until 2 a.m. And then I would have to be right back up at 6. I would get three, four, two-hour nights of sleep because I had to make that sacrifice in time. So I ended up maxing out all my financial aid between going to FAMU, between going to school for medical assistant, in between, between trying to go to um technical college to get my LPN, I ended up maxing out my FAFSA, like my federal student loan government money. I probably had $2,000 worth of loan money left that you could use because, believe it or not, the government puts the cap on it. So by the time I wasted my time going to all these different schools, I ended up at ITT which was another waste of my time because they ended up closing. I told that story some other place in my YouTube channel, which led me to the school that I'm at now. I 
quit my job working in the emergency department at the hospital as an LPN, which a lot of people think that nurses, LPNs, don't work in hospitals, and they do. I'm living proof. I don't have no reason to lie. I worked as an LPN in the emergency room, but I quit that job. I uprooted my kids and I moved to Lakeland so that I could go to this school because my mom was able to help me with my kids. And I work a lot to pay for school. I'm paying for school out of pocket by force, not by choice. But I just want to motivate you guys to let you know that dreams cost. Dreams cost money. Dreams cost your social life. Dreams cost, I've seen people get divorced, so they sometimes cost your love life. Like, when you are going through a moment of growing, and you're going through a period where it's time for you to evolate, ever, yeah, evolate. Is it evolate? <laughs> Hello. I said all of that just to say, that when it's time to level up, time for you to move up in life, move forward, or even accomplish any type of goal it is that you want to accomplish, there will be setbacks, there will be obstacles, there will be some type of adversity that you have to persevere through. And I'm telling you, take it from me, that it can be done. Don't feel like you're too old. Don't feel like you have to work or whatever it is, it will work itself out in your favor. Once you put one foot ahead, the second foot, the third foot, the fifth foot, you can do it. I'm here to encourage you to go ahead and do it. Like, I don't know how else to say it besides whatever it is you want in this life, it is yours. You can obtain it. You can have it. Just believe in yourself and the universe will work in your favor. All right, guys. Thank you so much once again for tuning in to BevTube. Thank you so much for your um, continued support. We're growing. We're on the road to 10K. Really 100K, but we'll start, we'll, we'll crawl before we walk and we'll just say on the road to 10K. Just make sure you like this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about. And I promise I'll get those videos out and give you a shout out in the video as well. Till next time, guys. Bye.